uh, a very good evening to all the distinguished <laughs> guests on stage and congratulations to Thiruvallur District Cricket Association on completing 25 years. It's more than 25 years, but today we are celebrating the 25th year. And I just realized it's the first time I'm actually part of a celebration where we are celebrating the success of a district cricket association. <clears throat> so a lot of what I will speak today is also to thank my district cricket association back home. Because when we talk about grass, grassroot level of cricket, what you really mean is cricket from where it starts and where it is governed. And I always felt to me, grassroot cricket was school level cricket. Because it's a place where you want students to play all the different sport. But at the same time, the responsibility comes to a district cricket association to organize a cricket tournament where all the schools of the district, they make sure that it's prestigious enough to compete. The more the number of cricketers who are competing to get selected for that district team, you know, the more the competition, the better the chances of the cricketers getting better, ultimately helping not only the district, but the State Cricket Association in turn. So today, I would like to thank my Ranchi District Cricket Association for <clears throat> organizing all the different categories of school level cricket that was organized at that point of time. And more often than not, more of the states, they follow the same blueprint. So for us, it was class 10th and 12th, more like you know under 16 and under 19 tournaments. So, Initially, when I started playing cricket, the want or the will was to score in that tournament. Why? Because you want to represent your district. Why do you want to represent your district? So that when you play in an inter-district tournament, you do well and you are called for the selection trials for the state. And I feel that's the urge that we all cricketers need to have. And what is very important is to be proud of the district that you represent because when we start playing cricket, we want to play for the school. We want to do well for the school, but ultimately we want to get selected for the district team. From district, you want to do well and get selected for the state. Then you want to compete at the Ranji Trophy level and ultimately you want to represent an India. So when you want to, when you're proud of the fact, like to me, you know, I, I played for India, so I'm proud of the fact that I got a chance to represent my country. But it won't have started if I have not played for my district, if I have not played for my school. So that feeling of being proud of being part of a district is very important. Because if it doesn't start at that level, we won't really represent the country. So I feel always the, the responsibility on the District Cricket Association is, is huge because years after year, what is one of the most difficult things to achieve is to try and make sure the schools are motivated enough to make a team and then to compete and make that tournament prestigious enough for everyone to compete and do well. So a hearty congratulations again, but at the same time to all the cricketers who are part of the association, what is very important is to make the most of what you have. You know, we cricketers are very demanding. You know, we all want turf wicket. But one of the reality is to make the most of what we have got. And often the difference between a turf and a good matting wicket is I felt a good matting wicket was in fact a lot of times better than a turf wicket, which was not outstanding. So let's, so let's not always crib about, no, we should have a turf wicket. You know, good matting wicket is a, it's, it's a very good platform to start playing good cricket, compete, and ultimately, you know, go forward in, in life. So as far as the cricketers are concerned, you know, all the best wishes, uh, not only to the boys and the men, even the ladies who are part of the association, you know, your contribution is e equally important. A lot of you have represented the district cricket association and gone up to represent the state. So 
congratulations on, on that. And again, it gives me real pleasure to be here. And it gave me an opportunity today to, as I said, you know, thank my district cricket association. You know, it's home far away from home, you know, thanking Ranchi when I'm in Chennai. Uh, but it's a real pleasure uh, being here. Uh, thanks for the reception and many more years to come. Uh, Dr. Baba, I, I know Dr. Baba for a very long time. He was part of the Indian cricket team also, not as a cricketer, but as a media manager. And we all know uh, two lovely kids he has got. Both of them, they play cricket. Uh, so, Baba sir, very well done. Not only to you, but also everyone who's part of the association because it's an effort where uh, everybody needs to contribute for it to do well. You know, it's not only up to the secretary or the president, but everybody who's part of it, everyone who's taking care of the grounds, everyone who's taking care of the tournament. So a big congratulations to all of them. It's a, it's a long journey because cricket is here to stay, so 25 years is nothing. You know, hopefully on the 50th celebration again, you know, we'll be here. And we, we will be celebrating with a lot more cricketers coming out of the district you know, representing Tamil Nadu and also doing well, you know, beyond that, whether it is at the Ranji Trophy level, representing India or, you know, playing IPL. So, uh, congratulations again and all the very best for the future. Thank you.